Why do anything if we'll all be dead one day? It's a question I've asked myself at every pivotal point in my life. Whenever I'm about to experience a cataclysmic change in the way I approach my life, this question presents itself in my mind. There is a battle that anyone who has struggled with this question has gone through. A certain divide. And that is the two opposing sides of approaching this question. On the one hand, you could say this. Eventually everybody you know and everything you've ever come to know will decay and be nothing, so there's no point in doing anything anyways. Any progress you've made or accomplishments you've achieved will eventually wither away into nothingness. I'm someone who puts in so much effort to keep my body healthy and I work so hard towards my goals every single day. And yet still I can get that lingering feeling, that thought in the back of my mind that nothing I'm doing right now is gonna matter anyway. As much as Elon Musk will try and make humans survive by taking us to another planet, there's just no way that human beings, as we are now, will survive forever. Which means that even if part of the reason that I'm doing what I do now is to be remembered for years to come, once I'm dead, time won't exist in the way that I perceive it now, and that remembrance of myself won't actually matter. What's ironic about this is that when you die is when you get remembered, but you will never even be alive to feel what it's like to be remembered. So why do anything anyways? What a depressing way to live. If you approach this existential thought from this hand, so let's look at the other hand, the hand that I prefer to view life from. I've come to accept the fact that, yes, it is true that eventually everything I've done for myself and others will be meaningless because the world is in a constant state of change, and with that change, I will decompose into the ground and maybe help grow a tree or something. But isn't that exactly the point of living a life that I want to? If you would have asked high school this question, he would have told you, nah man, you gotta care about working a high paying corporate job and fitting in with people, that matters. But knowing that that actually doesn't matter at all in the end has been the most liberating mindset to me. It's been the very thing that makes me do more with my life and live a more enriching and fulfilling life. Because what it really means is that I don't have to worry about if I might have said the wrong thing to someone or had a bad first impression or any mistake I've made in my life so far for that matter. I'm grateful for learning these mistakes or things that I've done that I might have not liked and I've become a better person through them, but what's even more comforting than that is knowing that I can release them directly after they happen because I know that they're completely insignificant in the unbound, endless process of the universe. Because I know this, I've let go of trying to control everything and trying as hard as possible to make something work that clearly is not meant for me. Because what does it matter anyways? And maybe that can be the very thing that helps you get through whatever sh job you might have right now and work towards something that gives you more pleasure in life. If you are viewing this nihilistic perspective from the positive hand, you can tell yourself, I don't need to stress about this job too much because I'm not in a rush to get anywhere in life because in the end it doesn't matter anyway, but I might as well try and make the most out of this one life while I'm here and start trying to work towards making income from something that excites me. And if you really, truly cannot do that, then it's really okay anyways because of what I've described here. If you can't or you don't want to work on building a dream life, you're under no obligation to do so and what anyone else says doesn't matter anyways in the end. Look, I'm not encouraging you to do this because this channel is all about growth and improving yourself. I'm simply trying to get my point across. But Cole, if all of that is true, then why are you trying so hard to be successful and why do you work so much? Well, I do everything I do because I know that if I were to work myself to death for someone else doing something I didn't like, it wouldn't be the life I really want. And while I'm here for this brief instant that I am on Earth, I might as well just create a life that leaves me feeling fulfilled and happy where I can inspire people and do good. And for right now, what that looks like is doing what I do online. And one day, maybe it won't look like that. Maybe I'll just want to drop everything, move to Japan, and work in a small restaurant for the rest of my life. And if I want to do that, then f*** it. It doesn't matter in the end anyways. We struggle so hard throughout our entire life to be liked and to make as much money as possible. And then we grow old and we get to the end of our life and we realize that that stuff was completely meaningless. And what will really matter is that you lived a life that aligned with who you are and what you really want to do on no one else's agenda. But let's get back to the original question. Why do anything if we will all be dead one day? I'm starting to realize that maybe I should have rephrased this question. Instead, 
what you might want to ask yourself is, why not live a life that is true to who you are, what you like to do, and without regrets, if we will all be nothingness one day. The bitter, negative tone to it is now gone. With every interaction you make, every action you take, keep this singular question in your mind. Contemplate this. Because that is how you truly become free, no matter who you are, where you're at, or what you've done. When I'm old as shit, I want to be able to look back on my life and say, I lived my life like I knew nothing mattered in the end, and I did the most good I could for myself and others while I was here. So, how have you been going about living your life?